I'm going to do a series of videos throughout the season here in the bee yard and it's going to be specifically on using the single brood chamber management technique. Now if you're looking to be able to increase your honey production possibly by 50% then this is the video and series of videos for you to follow. So I'm going to go through the process throughout the year show you how much honey is being produced by these hives and how I go through and uh, configure them and also add supers on to them throughout the year and all of the other different techniques that I use. So right now we're going to get into this hive here. The candy board has been already removed from a previous week. So right now the way I have my hive set up, I have three mediums. This is of course a 10 frame hive. I suspect that the bottom high, the bottom box will be empty. The middle box will have eggs and larvae in all stages with some honey. And the top box will probably be have some eggs and larvae in the center of it and probably a lot of honey or sugar water honey left over from the winter. Now what I'm going to do, I will remove the bottom box from the hive completely. I will drop the other two boxes down onto the bottom board and then I will go through each frame to see whether or not it is either filled with eggs and larvae or honey. Now I will remove any excess honey at this time and leave at least two frames of honey on one on either side of the box in those two boxes. So there will be at least eight frames in the middle for her to lay in. And then after that I will put a queen excluder on and then I will put a honey super on. So let's get into the hive and see what we can find. I'm going to go ahead and just take off the two top boxes and get right into the bottom box so I can take that off and get it out of the way. That's got honey in it. By the weight of that top box, it definitely has honey in it. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Now, uh, pretty much a honey frame. There might be some brood in here from what I can see from the edges. Another honey frame. This frame here is completely open. I don't see any eggs in it. This one does have some larvae in it. Sides. We'll have to move that frame up into the top box. And this frame has some eggs in it. So this would be a good frame we could use to put in the other hive. So they can 
possibly make a queen cell for themselves. Blow on it to kind of get the bees to move out of the way. So we'll keep that in our minds to do that. Here's some more brood. Looks like she might have came down in the box since it's been hard to get into the hives at the proper time because of all the bad weather we've had. For you folks that live, let's say in the deep south area there, this past Saturday we had sleet and then that following Monday we had snow flurries. So hopefully all that type of weather is behind us since we're in April and it'll start warming up on a consistent basis. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go through these other boxes here. See where we're at with the hives. But these are calm, I will have to say. Very nice to work with. And there's a total honey frame. I'm glad they do have some honey left over due to all the weather we've had. Oh, that's an empty frame. A little bit of pollen in it and some honey in the corners. And here's a beautiful brood pattern, the worker brood. I haven't seen the queen yet, but hopefully we will. There's another one that's full of uh, larvae, milk brood, some people call it, cat brood. We do have some drones in the hives now. So it's getting time for mating season. There's our queen. Mm -hmm. Right there, she has a blue dot. Barely seen, but uh, she is here, which is good. Nice to see her. Looking for a place to lay. Right there at the end of my finger. There she is, right out in the middle of the open there. All right, let's put her back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and arrange the frames and then I will be back with you. All right, everyone, we went through the hive. I took the bottom box off. It was mostly empty. 
What I did was, is on either side of the box, I put a honey frame in on both the bottom and the top, so they have food resources. If there was a pollen frame, I put it on the next frame out towards the edge. Most of the cat brood is in the bottom middle of the box. There is a few frames here where they have had emerged and there's a little bit of cat brood, but most of the empty frames are in the top. We did see the queen. She is in the box for sure. So now we're going to smoke the bees down and set this hive up for honey production. I'm going to put a queen excluder on. And a honey suit over top. Now I run nine frames. The frames are drawn out, but I like the wax to dry out past the frames so it's easier to uncap the honey frames when we're harvesting honey. I use this frame gauge that spaces them out evenly since we only have nine frames in the box instead of ten frames. You just stick it in there, put the points in between the frames, and it spaces it out relatively easy. It's a gauge. So now we have even spacings. We'll put the top the, uh, inner cover back on. And cover the hive back up. And we're done. Well, I hope that you enjoyed going through the hive with me and learning about the single hive brood chamber management technique and also seeing the queen. So until next time, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell and have fun with your bees.